Yeah, I've done it. Here I thought I could get earlier, but that's when I was trying to get in. So I still don't know how I got in here in the end. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and Chewy Talks just kept repeating itself. That's the wrong run, wrong number, wrong show number. And uh, then I saw I was given another number by Jenny because it changed. And I'm getting... Um, Wrong number, wrong number. And eventually, when you were in here, Dorothy, um, I had the music going. I thought, oh, I'm going. Then it cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's and then I gave, it more, I gave it it's one more go game. and I got in, you know. You so, um, welcome, you. everybody. I'm trying to do my um, camera now. So, um, yes, yeah, so anyway, I love crystals. Dorothy loves um, crystals. Crystals can connect you with um, everything in the universe and um, healing and everything. I'm just getting up this one. Um, I think Archangel Shamuel's with us here today, everybody, because this is a very, um, very pretty and lovely um, crystal. It's called Angel Aura. <laughs> and yeah. uh, you've got the beautiful pink there and you've got... Um, uh, all the other colours in it is it's marvellous, like rainbow colours. Um, what do you know about that then? I know it's good for all round well being, um, Dorothy. Um, yeah, um, angel auras and the the aura range, if you like, are a fairly recent um, development, and they found that if you coated uh, a clear quartz crystal with certain metals. Uh, titanium, silver, gold, there's a variety that they use to get the different colours, that you end up with these amazing array of um, crystal colours, which allows, in particular, for aura work. Now, the Swarovski crystals, and I know they're lead crystals and that they're, they're, they're man-made, but then these are too. Now, with the, um, with the multiple colours, what you're doing is you're taking the, the energy of clear quartz, which is vision, being able to see clearly, getting through any kind of fog, uh, that's what you use a clear quartz for. They're also used wild, widely in industry because they are a transmitter. They are the, the strongest transmitter or the one that we can most easily measure. And I, I, what I love doing, I learned this so many years ago, is if you grab a quartz crystal of any sort and you pop it in your hand and you hold it firmly, not, you know, not so you do yourself any damage, but hold it nice and firmly in either hand and then just sit for a minute for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute a minute's really good literally a minute I say a minute a lot and I mean seconds and so you hold it and when you open your hand out you'll actually feel the vibrations in the palm of your hand and that's because they have such a loud frequency they are used for watches for that reason they're used in industry for that reason and what they do is they take energy right this is how that works they take energy off something and then they stabilize it now that's what you use a, a clear quartz for whether it's being treated as an aura crystal or what now when you add the treatment to it and it's put under intense heat with this um, metal filings or metal powder which it's coated with it goes under intense heat and then you end up with these different colors there's pink ones there's turquoise ones and the, the color is determined by the actual metals and the group of metals they use so the angel aura has silver uh, as part of the metal silver and titanium and then it's intensely heated and you get these beautiful beautiful colors because they coat the surface of it so that's how that works so you're adding the range of colors so you're adding a color therapy if you like to that transmission to that clear quartz um, it makes it easier for you to clarify and cleanse your own aura to a certain extent but more than anything you'll be looking at I understand myself a little better when you're using a crystal this way and when you take a crystal that's got natural properties awesome natural properties you find yourself in a position of being able to intensify or use those properties to a greater degree which is always a phenomenon you know it's always a wonderful wonderful thing are you it still is. there or she oh. yeah no i'm still here i find that um i find that quite fascinating that um that's uh man-made the, the crystal isn't man-made but they've made the colors there yeah which are yeah. absolutely very vibrant um i'm echoing hang on <laughs> 
you're, you're, you're all right. Into... You're all right. Oh, now, I, if... I was getting a really big echo. My headphones came on again, so I had to turn them off. But ah. with with this, um, I didn't realise it was a mix of uh, metal to make those colours. I thought it was like grown like that. But if if that's mm. the case and those elements, right, have made yeah. those colours and you've got like silver, gold and platinum, does yeah. that enhance the healing potential of the crystal with using the, um, to connect you with different things or to connect, to balance things out? If you wanted to use silver in something, could you use, would that be beneficial with this crystal? And, um, you know, generally, because it's it's taken on the properties from that metal. Well, I think... Um, the, <laughs> so I think throw you more, right out. <laughs> you know, no, no. Sorry. I think it's more, it's more important to understand that uh, it hasn't taken on the properties of the metal so much as it has... Uh, that's what's created the colour. So what actually happens is because it's put under such intense heat um, and it's titanium, not platinum, because it's put under such intense heat, uh, the metal itself doesn't really fuse to the crystal as such. It burns the surface. That's the best way I've got to describe it in layman's terms. And it's because it's metallic that you get these colours. So what it's introducing more than the metallic element is the colours itself, if you like. So from an energy perspective and colour therapy perspective, that's what you're really adding to the, the clear quartz more than anything. You're also adding the manipulation of man. Now, when man manipulates something or makes something or creates something, it doesn't necessarily detract. And there are a lot of purists when it comes to crystals. Uh, for example, there are crystals you can buy that have been um, crushed quartz, for example, is a very common thing to see these days where they've managed to work out a way they crush it into a powder, then they put crystals inside it and then they put it back together in its original shape. So you end up with this one sort of crystal wand with these other crystals like chakra crystals inside them and we've all seen those around. So it enhances it, it doesn't detract, but once you've powdered it down and you put it back together, you've changed that vibration significantly because now it's no longer got its own natural transmission zone going on. Um, yeah. Whereas these still have their these still have their natural clear quartz transmitting, which is what I started talking about before. They transmit energy. And they don't transmute energy, but they take energy and stabilize it. So if you think about that, so why are they used in clear uh, in, in watches? You know, you have clear quartz, quartz used in watches, right? Yeah, that's right. They, yeah. they're, used, they, they're used in watches and they're used industrially because there's a vibration with that, that watch. There's a thing that happens with that watch that has a time set on it, okay? Now, what quartz does is it makes sure it holds the same time. What, what it does is it doesn't make it work. It makes sure that its vibration is such that it holds the right time for the longest period. So forever, before the digital age in particular, but even since the digital age, having quartz in your watch, having quartz in your computer, having quartz in any device of that nature stabilized its energy and made sure that it kept time, literally. So you can use a clear quartz to keep yourself stable in time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I should have carried one around today, shouldn't I? <laughs> I've got well, there you go. Get, one. Get your, gets all your timing in straight, doesn't it? It's like, oh, my schedule's good. I've got a quartz in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I could do with that. I tell you. Yeah, I thought I, I had it all organised today. But um, oh, I got here and then I couldn't get on. But it's it's good to be here. Good to be on the air again, everybody. I don't think I can use my camera, Dorothy, because I didn't come into... Um, camera on Skype. Is that right? No, no. You click the camera on the program. So all you do is you go up to the top in the middle, you just click the button and it brings you up. It's got nothing Share to do your with webcam. Skype. It says no webcam available. I don't know why. Oh, I well, had that's it earlier. Computer. Yeah. yeah uh, I, when I you, had it earlier. Yeah. So when you go in and you choose it, um, 
if you've if you've had any change, as in you've you've dropped your connection, or whatever. Very often, all you need to do is renew your refresh the whole page, and everything resets itself. Well, this page here, yeah, <laughs> it's all yeah. right. It, the it took me a long yeah, it's time all right to set today. it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, but when you just refresh it, all it does is it resets. Like the, the show still records, it's still open, nothing goes away except for you. You just disappear for a minute and come back. Um, but that's okay. So, so, um, and, and you know, what the heck? Now, I've got a, an, another um, aura crystal that's been heat treated. If you want to have a look, uh, I can I can take those controls if you like and uh, pass those up to you. Okay, because um, I've got the first one that you said. Oh well, um, these are just the an other angel auras, so people can see that they're different colours because they give them different names based on the colour that they come out and the colour they come out is dictated by the combination of metals that they're heated within and I just thought everybody might like to have a look at that to see that yes you get these multicoloured ones which you know have got titanium and silver and then you've got different metal combinations which gives them different colours there's pink um, there's blue and you know there's a almost metallic um, colour as well that, that can be got so uh, quite phenomenal Really? Yeah, that's and, good, isn't uh, it? it, it I've is, passed it, you the controls. Perfect. Uh, so, everybody, Dorothy's just going to uh, load her pictures up because I um, couldn't work out how to do it. <laughs> I have been shown. Good. And I did get some pictures up, but then I lost them. And I thought, where's my slideshow gone? And uh, then I ran out of time. Then I ran out of time. You, you, and you need to click. You need to click my name because I can't do it on the call. So you'll see my name, and if you click that, it gives me the presenter. Oh right. You okay. Put, yeah. Yeah. So you put it on my Skype call. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> it's That's all good. You're anonymous as well. Because it takes all Skype calls and calls them anonymous. So I'm signed in as my myself. Yeah. <clears throat> Now this is, uh, so I'll just do them one by one. Now this is one very similar to the one that you've shown and it gives you a description oh, wow. of when you, aren't they stunning when you've got all of that, those, I you can see that. love that, just want to hold it. it it's beautiful, isn't it? It's AJ, absolutely beautiful. rainbow light everywhere and across the universe and the world for healing. That's what I'm into, everybody healing. But, um, and other things. So, and sorry, I will shut up, Dorothy. Do you want no, me to no, mute no, me? no, don't. <laughs> No, don't. It's, it's your show. Don't don't you dare <laughs> mute yourself. Now, this is one that's blue, okay? And this, the, interestingly enough, it's got gold. To, to get this colour, it's got gold in it. Um, so they're really quite amazing. And any quartz that you see of this nature is heat treated. They're never natural. And it's the same. You know, we get, we get a lot of... Um, I wouldn't want to say they're actual cons. I think there's less and less knowledge in the crystal industry. When I was when I had my shop and I was selling crystals, I always bought off a crystal man. He would go out into the world. He would buy his crystals. He was a he was a a, a stone guy. That was what his profession was. You know, he knew his stuff. These days, you get a, a lot of spiritual shops or little shops, and they're selling you crystals, and then they're not really aware of what it is that they're selling you. So there's the word fake, I'm sure there might be some out there faking it uh, and people are buying their crystals online. But things like, for example, there's no such thing as a blue topaz. They're all actually yellow, right? Um, so when you see a blue topaz, it's been treated and you've got all the coloured agates, they've all been treated. You know, they've all been heat treated to get these different colours. So it's an interesting thing to know that that's, the truth of it but also to understand that it doesn't detract from them it introduces a different element but it does change the original vibration so for purists um, stick to the natural gems stick to the not so brilliantly colored gems and then you'll get those natural vibrations um, the blue is, is is an awesome awesome color and then of course there's there's uh, intense pinks as well now I was talking about the ones which have the metallic look, and I've got one here, which is a pendulum, um, a necklace, and you see these ones. Is that what you meant, um, Mary, when, Beck, uh, Becca, when you mentioned about rainbow, wanting a rainbow aura? I'm laughing because Lindsay's saying hello to Ince Walker, 
in the private chat. <laughs> it will stop going. <laughs> And I'm like, what? What's he talking about? And then I realise so it's, it's a cracker. So this this is heat oh, treated funny. as well. It is, and they're almost metallic to look at the way that they reflect colour. And they're very chameleon like because as the colour hits them in different ways, um, they change um, they change colour as you're looking at them. So they're very changeable, I suppose. So for example, if you've got that Gemini energy of switching and changing your mind all the, all the time, you wouldn't want one of these really. You would want something that's more stabilizing like a smoky quartz or, um, uh, you know, something that, that keeps you, keeps you in, into the grounding or a clear quartz so that you can always see what's up. See what's up, man. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, the, the pinks are, are phenomenal as well. I'll just grab a pink for you to have a look at. And that's about the colour range um, of the the quartz. I'm downloading these because I didn't have them in my computer. I wasn't sort of totally planning on doing this. But it's always worth looking at because that, you know, to me, it's then you know what you're buying, right? You know when you go to a shop and you look at something, you know exactly what you're getting and you know what it, what it is. And... Um, you also have a little bit of knowledge means too that a shopkeeper can't really lie to you, I suppose. You know, if they do tell you something that's not true about these, then you'll know to step past that person or just get your crystal knowing what you're doing or don't let yourself be ripped off, basically. Um, the Aura Quartzes do sell for quite a lot more than a standard quartz, so you need to decide, you know, how much do you want it, really, eh? Um, you have a huge smoky quartz, Becca, awesome, awesome staff. Uh, welcome, Ince. <laughs> Is that how yes, we say that? Welcome, Ince. <laughs> <laughs> Incey, Wincy, Spider. We had such a downpour last night, and so this is like, now Incey, Wincy, Spider's got to be there because Ince is there, that I, I, I actually saw spiders struggling to stay up on the on the, on the outside of the, the, the caravan yesterday. So this is the pink aura quartz, and it's again, it's stunning. Um, they've just got this lovely, beautiful element. But I used to buy them and sell them in my shop, all of the Aura Quartzes, and they would be, I'd be lucky if they lasted a week. Um, and they, they, they'd all come in, and it was almost like everybody in the district had um, uh, Aura Quartz senses. <laughs> they'd come diving on in, bye, 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 and they'd all be gone. So it'd be like, I'd look at them on my shelves, and I'd set them up as a little specimen thing and think, oh, they're pretty. <laughs> Next thing, gone, <laughs> gone. This is quite funny. <clears throat> so the first crystal that we are really talking about today was the tanzanite, and um, we, 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 which, which you know, Lindsay beautifully invited me along here because we had uh, this show the other day that I didn't quite manage to get finished, <laughs> and uh, I have to go find it now. I have to go find them. Uh, tanzanite. Oh, here's another blue aura. Actually. Oh, I've got. I, can, I can share the tanzanite for you. I've got that oh, one. Oh, thank you. So this is another blue. So you can see they do have a variance in them, but they are gorgeous in their own right, you know, with with just those three different colours. There's really just the three. There's the aura, or four, really. There's the aura quartz. Uh, there's what they call the angel aura is the metallic looking one. Um, and then there's the pink and there's the blue. And while other people give them names, there's not really any name for them that isn't made up, just to be honest and fair. But it's it's a lovely thing to have. They're beautiful to look at. They are rather special. So yeah, the Tanzanite would be great. You can take that control back. You click on your own name and up she comes. Um, when it comes to the rare crystals or the rare gems, there's a reason that they are rare. And most of them, top 10 if you like, of the rarest crystals in the world, are rare because of their ability to to shift their colour, to change their colour naturally without help. They're, they're polarised in uh, various ways. And, and 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 that's really specific and different. And now with tanzanite, um, what it does is it changes colour under polarised light. And polarised light waves are, are vibrations that occur on a single plane. So, you know, when we look at... Um, when we look at the spectrum of light, it doesn't matter which source we use, it's got a leaning towards a specific colour or a range of colours. And, and that is what lights our world essentially. Polarised light has a single plane. And it, it, it really is basically taking uh, regular light 
and making it, I suppose, flat is the best way I can describe that, <laughs> flat. Um, I can't put it any other way. And when you put tanzanite under um, uh, under a polarised light, then you put it under unpolarised light or horizontal or vertical. So if you shine polarised light from the top, if you shine it from the side, uh, it changes the colour that you see in tanzanite. And tanzanite itself is a huge, huge, rare, it's like a thousand times rarer than diamonds. And as we know with all crystals, crystals take millions, and I do mean millions of years, to um, to form, to grow, to, to create themselves. And tanzanite in particular, uh, it, it, as it changes its colour, uh, it's got this amazing, um, what would you call it? it? It just sends something out at you, which is kind of phenomenal. And uh, there's a, a crowd called Caltech. They've got geology uh, division, which is very informative. Um, these color variations in tanzanite are due to the presence of vanadium ions, which are not present uh, in other things. And so an ion is a very tiny, fast-moving molecule, if you like. And so you're going, it's full of these little ions, which are creating these changes within it as you view it. And uh, that in itself is uh, quite a phenomenon. Anyway, what would you use tanzanite for? Because of its depth of colour and because it's got this rapid moving, you would use it where you need to be a bit more flexible within yourself, where you need to be able to reflect something a little different into your world or where you want to make a change on some level. That change could be, for example, um, that you want to be different, say, uh, for people who have had um, addiction issues, weight loss issues, ongoing, you know, what we call a chronic issue. If you've had these kind of issues in your life, then it gives you that opportunity to make an internal change, to be able to reflect differently in different situations, uh, to be able to make uh, whatever changes are necessary on an internal level uh, so that it can help and affect or reflect um, outside of yourself. It's, it's quite a powerful uh, thing to look at when we are, uh, in fact, creating change within ourselves, we can chase our tails of it. We can go external, if you like. That is where we go running around everywhere else trying to uh, see what we see, be what we be. Um, you know, when we tr we try to introduce something to ourselves that uh, is more of an issue, if you like, or not so much an issue, but um, is, is more of an externalized ideal. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Well, what it was was I was trying to put the pictures you sent me up and I couldn't. <laughs> so I've put the controls back to you so that you can show your your crystals. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> just like, I I'm think not I messed it up, everybody. I've just got a blank screen. Uh, well, I, I, the the actual too. presentation screen for me is blank. And I don't know why. Well, it is, it oh, is for us too. It's because there was no picture chosen. There's no picture chosen. <laughs> so one actually has to choose a picture. But um, yeah, so it's not a it's not a real problem. So what have we got here? Let's have a look. That's yours. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Um, that's that one. Okay. That's why that one's blank. I don't know why that one's blank. That's the see, tanzanite. I've, I've, yeah, I had a tanzanite up the top. Not it could yours, be the... though. Oh. Um, and, and it's a little tiny picture, and I couldn't make oh, that'll it bigger. Be yeah, that'll be wise. So I gave it up. <laughs> you gave it up. Give it up. Give it up. Get over it. We don't need it. There we go. No, so I'm going to go grab. Go. Don't need it. I'm going to go grab the tanzanite. Let me just do that now. This, and, these um, are really attracted to this. It's very similar to amethyst. Um. Well, it's all. Uh, well, tanzanite is actually quite a range of colours, and it can be very, very blue. It can be very almost dark black with blue flecks in it. It's, it's, it. That's the point. It's got this. It's got these little ions in it that make it a little bit um, hard to describe when it comes to colour. When you set a particular light, now the one you're going to look at is a tanzanite under polarised light and it looks incredibly different. No, it's not doing it either. Now, why is that? 
it's because it's a PNG. It's got to be. That's my bad. It's got to be a JPEG. I thought it could oh, be a PNG. It? Yeah, I, I just saved it... the pictures you sent me. No, no, I, I, I sent you that for sure. Uh, we'll do this one. I sent you that for sure. I didn't double check it. So now and again, I, I, I don't think either, Lindsay. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? There we go. So That's an um, Archangel Michael stone, everybody. That's the tanzanite. And see the brilliance of the blue in there? That's because of the polarized light on the tanzanite itself. And you're always going to be looking into, and that's a natural one. It's uh, Clearly it's cut a little bit on the outside, but it's been pretty much left in its natural state. And it's got the gold flecks in it, and they are quite gold when you're looking at them. It's quite an intense color, and it's almost a tourmaline black throughout it. So that's that's a phenomenon. And I've got I've got another one here that I want to show you, so you can actually see how different it can look, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's cut. Okay, uh, this is under unpolarized light, but it's it's an actual cut crystal. There we are. Look at that. Um, it's got such an intense blue to it. So if you're thinking color therapy with your crystals, the color matters and we're attracted visually to color uh, and we're attracted uh, energetically to other freak. Yeah. Have we lost you, Dorothy? Dorothy, are we lost you, Dorothy? I wonder if we've lost Dorothy. I'll... Um I think she's still here. Let me check. Um, won't be a moment. Yeah, we. St I've still got Dorothy here in the chat room, but I shall have to Skype her in, everybody. So if you would just give me a minute. While I'm Skyping her in, I'll play some music. I'll see if this works. Could somebody type in the chat room that they can hear me? Um, can anybody hear me all right? Right, you hear me. Thank you very much. Right, Becca, I'm going to put some music on. And while I put the music on, um, we put Angel's calling me because we're we're. Um, go, I'm going to call Dorothy in, and then she can come and continue with the show. Okay. So um, I hope you all enjoy this. It's by Janine. It's Angel's calling me.
Everybody. That was Angels Calling Me by Deneen. And uh, welcome back, Dorothy. I, <laughs> I just <laughs> got and she came back. <laughs> just, me uh, too. Well, see, that's, that's how I long did. it used to take. That's how long it used to take when the server rebooted. It used to be like a flick off and a flick back on. And in the last few weeks, for whatever reason, it's been half an hour, which is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, so I know. It's sad. Yes. That's why yeah, I got so together I went, today. Exactly. And when I went today, I thought, that's it, I'm gone. <laughs> and then, <laughs> poof, I was back again. I was like, yoo-hoo, they've got their act together at last. <laughs> yeah, well, I was calling normally... you on Skype. Did you see that? Yeah, because you put No, I, I missed that. I was I was actually off. So, yeah. But but um, the, the big deal is, of course, you know, that normally I'd be asleep and I'd never have known any of this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally I would never have known, but because I decided to do these shows at these hours for a wee while, then, um, but uh, that's it, I'm done now. This is my last uh, it's, it's 3 a.m. show for a while uh, because I'm just slayed the next day. It gives me a little bit of bit of trouble to get my own work done, if you know I, what I mean, I my, was... day, my day job. <laughs> yeah, I know you're very busy with what you do. I was trying to work out that perhaps you might be able to do it at an 11 p.m., show with me which would be morning for me um 11 it would be 12 o'clock for me and it would be um it would be seven o'clock in america <laughs> it's a job yeah. to work out the times isn't it it's too well, early the, the, all, all you can all you can all you can do in the end is do what works for you and what's right for you and i only really took on the breakfast show to to play around with that time slot so for in true talks you know to demonstrate it that yes there are people looking for shows at that time of the day yes there are people wanting to have a listen um because you know not everybody's working all day and and it's the same too in england and europe uh south africa the shows that are in the evening eastern standard time are too late you know too, that's too right. Late. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. It's well, good to see the rest of the world covered. <laughs> the rest I'd of like the world say, needs covering. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I'd like to say thank you to Dorothy and Becca and Ince Walker who's come today, and to anybody else that's listening, but also to Mary Gates who came for a while and then. Um, uh, disappeared, but I know she was enjoying this, and she'll probably listen to the archives now. And Mary is in North, I think, on Pacific time. So, f- it, although it's 11 o'clock Eastern when this started for her, for uh, most people in America, she said it was 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock for her. So, it definitely a break all day breakfast show. This one, isn't it? <laughs> for sure, yeah, for sure. Because when you get down to Central time and um, yeah, so you've got three different times running across there. There's, but but um, Mary did say at the start that she was having some internet issues, so that she might drop off, and she said she would keep trying to come back if she fell off. So we understand yeah. what happened there. If you want to give me those controls back again, then I'll pop up well, my yes, tight. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now, you were going to do. Um, you said you've put in the chat room. Uh, Dorothy's put in the chat room that if you pop along while the music is playing and grab a picture of a crystal you like and share the link to get a crystal read um, she will do you a crystal reading well I think that's marvellous so um, 
I don't need yep. a crystal reading, but my crystal would be amethyst, um, Dorothy. Um, well, the, the key here is, I'll, I'll explain that the key here isn't just the crystal, it's the picture they choose. You know, I don't know if you've seen me do the uh, flower psychometry shows and you've seen oh, me do my own that. crystal reading. Yeah. <laughs> I, I sent then, Dorothy a picture of a girl in a field and she was surrounded in um, lovely, like uh, sunflowers, yellow sunflowers or bright yellow um, flowers and I had the wrong glasses on when I did it and I thought that's a nice picture <laughs> so I sent it to her and it wasn't until I sent it to her that and it was on her or her television program you see and she's shown the pictures and I realized that this picture this lady had um, just a bikini top on and was laying there half naked in the flowers <laughs> that's right she was half and, naked and she, as soon as Dorothy saw it, she said, "I um, just from looking at this picture, I can tell you that Lizzie's as blind as a bat." She's seen the flowers. She's missed the girl. The time. Oh, I did laugh. I, I wasn't over offended <laughs> because we're still friends now. No. But I, and I thought it's that right. was, made, was a good reminder for me to make sure I changed my glasses and um, to my reading glasses on <laughs> <laughs> the computer. <laughs> it, it is quite. It is quite funny. And, and so with with those, it's the selection and what I'm visually looking at because we are. Oh no, it's another PNG. Damn it! Hang on, I'll go find a. We might have to let that one go because I have them in the slideshow, you see. It didn't matter. Once you put a picture in the yeah. slideshow, you're uploading the slideshow and it converts it so that you end up with all these slides instead of individual pictures. You know what I mean now that you've seen it? Yeah, yeah, so when I you do, up yeah. upload a picture, you have to come out and you have to go back in. You have to come out. When you make a slideshow in your computer, you upload the whole slideshow, which is a, a Microsoft Office you know, program. When you open yeah. it, then it's got slide one, two, three, four, five. So you can actually have all of the different slides there and you just click through them. Um, at, yes. at the bottom, you'll get this, this number, one, two, three, four, five. Whereas when you've got individual pictures, you have to go back, get the picture and come back. Do you know what I mean? It, it puts a little um, pop-up. So Yes, I do understand what you're saying. But since I've had Windows 10, I've couldn't find the PowerPoint, but I found it the other day. I did go looking for it to make a slideshow, and I couldn't do it, Dorothy. Oh, that's <laughs> I, okay. I spent that, that, all, day, all afternoon yesterday trying to put the show together and uh, do a slideshow and different things. So I did try. I will try again. I'm sure I will get the hang of this, everybody. And welcome to yeah. Dolores. Um, Dolores. Dolores. How are Delor you? Oh, it's Dolores. Um, Dolores, hi Dolores um, it's lovely you've joined us you're not here at the very last minute this show's going on for another 35 minutes I put this show on until um, half past 5 for me half past 12 um, for uh, people in Eastern and um, half past 4 I think it'll be for Dorothy so um, you're not too late and it's lovely that you've joined us over Fantastic. to you, Dorothy. Fantastic. Thank you. Over to me. Um, <laughs> I can't show I can't show any of those pictures because they are PNGs, and because I already had them in a slideshow, it wasn't something that I actually thought about. I am really sorry about that. Having said that, I have others, and so we will look at those instead. How is that? Now, these are no longer the rarest crystals in, in on the planet, on the Earth, but they are amazing nevertheless. Okay? Um, this is called grape agate believe it or not and yet it, it doesn't look like uh, an agate as such grape agate uh, can I just grape can you say it differently grape yeah, agate. agate oh yeah. I always call so it agate, agate. <laughs> oh, okay so okay whichever um, agate I'm going to continue calling it and of course that should be two words it was just because I'm lazy when I name files I always go boof to put them together um, so it's it's great agate so they're two words there and it almost looks like the uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Indian amethyst as in from India uh, but the Indian amethyst is really dark it's got black inclusions the purple's so dark it looks black and the only difference is underneath it's got this beautiful red, absolutely red, um, 
what would you call it, like earth, because it comes up from the earth. And so you've got this deep red sort of earthy color at the bottom with these almost black purples that sometimes are semi-clear. And you, when you look at the majority of um, the amethyst on the planet comes from Brazil and it's very light in color. It's very, very, very pale purple. So I quite like that range. And this is just a stunning, stunting piece. It's almost uh, rare as hen's teeth to see an agate that has uh, a crystal form like this. You know, usually it's, you'll see it's them. It's fantastic, isn't it? It you've got amazing. a ground in stone then there, you've got a stone that takes away negativity, you've got a, a stone that um, the black is very uh, protective as well, and you've got the blues in it, and you've even got clear crystal down the bottom with the light purple variations as well. It's absolutely amazing that. And yeah. is yeah. the silvery bit, is that just light reflection? From the it's photo. just light reflection because they're nearly black, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's just light reflection. They've got a strong blue tint to them, though, when you see them for real, you know, like in real life, I should yeah. say. Uh, that that blackness and that purple, there are parts of it that look very blue, which is a falling of the eye. But like I said, you know, we are visually attracted to crystals, so there is a color benefit to us. Now, because it's an agate, it's got all those properties of agate, you know. And agate is a, a layering stone, so it's about looking at layers Have you of gone things. Again? You want to... No, <laughs> I'm sure still here. Gone again? I'm still here. Right. Um, I, Can you I'm hear me? still here. The um, okay. oh. Hello. Can who can you hear out there? Is it? It's it's her that's gone, right? And I'm still here. Is that right, everybody? Can you still hear me? <laughs> yeah. So it's Lindsay. It's Lindsay. I'll just let her know on Skype that it's her that's gone. Uh, it is you that has gone. Yeah. So so when you're looking at any agate use, along thank you, and along with the. Uh, um, the the basic agate energy you're also looking at anything with layers if you want to understand a situation that's got undercurrents uh, if you've got a relationship with a person whether that's romantic or not where you're not quite sure what's going on you know there's not a lot of clarity in there then you can give yourself a a, a, a moment to understand you know what is going on in, in that environment so with agates and all of the agates you're looking for that deeper meaning for those layers uh, you can break things down too if you've got a life issue, if you've got a chronic um, emotional issue that's been playing around with you for a while, then you can allow yourself to settle into that and understand the various stages. It could be at, at when you were 10 years old, when you were 6 years old or when you were 13 or all of those. So it allows you to break things down and bring them to their different parts. Now I've got a caller, um, I can't take your call until Lindsay gets back. Uh, so if you were after, no, she's telling me it's me, but uh, so I'll carry on. <laughs> she thinks it's me. She's just she's just texted. No, no, I'm there. It's you that's gone. <laughs> Shall we all laugh? So I'm going to pop another picture up in here and we can have a look at a different crystal. Uh, and for the caller, I think that might be from Oregon. Um, then uh, we will be there. Now there are some absolutely amazing things with agate and I really want to show you this because this is a fairly common way to see, not common, but you see the sliced agates, right? You see sliced, uh, yeah, no, she's not in the show. She just thinks she is. Well, she is in the show. She's just not on the call. Uh, I saw her call drop. Uh, so this is a stained glass window made of agate. And you know, we're used to seeing the agate slices. And I said earlier, all of these colors that you're looking at through here are heat treated. And that's how the color comes. Now, because agate comes in fairly clear and fairly gray forms is most common and bluish, they can't know necessarily what color it will come out. They just put it under intense heat and it alters the color. There she is. <laughs> She's muted now. You're muted now. Um, you're muted now, Linz. So if you just unmute yourself, uh, you'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, so look at that window. Isn't that an amazing stained glass window? Could you imagine having a little window like that in your home? And, and all it's done is exactly the same 
as they do with stained glass pieces, except it's real agate and it is an amazing phenomenon. And can you imagine the colour coming through through the light, you know, um, in that way? So I think that's absolutely adorable, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Linz, if you're talking away, you're still muted, my darling. Uh, oh, now I'm, this, no, I'm, I'm not talking away. I am back. Um, thank you well, for done. letting me know that um, I was talking away and you were, you were saying they could hear you and not me. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly oh, right. That? That's why I got you on Skype because I knew you couldn't hear me because you'd call a drop. This is an amethyst geode and I've got it here because of its size. Look at the size of that. Yes, you do, Ince. So is that you on the call, Ince? Did you want us to take the call or let Linz know if you want uh, to take the call? Um, look at the size of that. Isn't that enormous? That's a normal size chick, by the way. <laughs> the what do you mean it's normal and... size? A normal size photo? What? No, the woman is a normal size woman. Oh, yeah. I'd like She's to not just crawl in. Wouldn't you just like to crawl in there and just lay back and relax? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. It is just wet. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So I thought I'd show you that because I've got, I belong to geologist sites and stuff like that because crystals, I, I, I buzz out on crystals. Um, but this is just phenomenal. Now, Inst does want a reading. Uh, if you want to pick her up at any time, just let me know. I'll carry on uh, and let the host uh, sort that side of things out. Uh, there's just the most um, uh, amazing, amazing uh, energies out there. Now, because you mentioned amethyst earlier, I thought, uh, Linz, I would show you this because I know it will make you drool. No drooling on film, please. Because <laughs> we're on the amethyst. Look at that. How's that for a point? Wow, crystal point? that looks like a vegetable, doesn't it? It does. It's almost an artichoke or... That's it. Uh, I, could, I, I was thinking of the name of the vegetable. But that is yeah. absolutely... Uh, or a, a red cabbage, but... You know, that is absolutely amazing. It's not very big though. You can hold it, can't you? That's a man's man's palm, but what it is is it's a single point, right? Yeah. So that comes off a cluster that must be phenomenally big. Yeah. Uh, See the red at the bottom? Yes. Um, I'm not sure if you heard, you might have dropped on the call when I was talking about the Indian amethyst, which gets very dark, almost black to look oh, at. Oh, yes, you said dark um, at the top. That's not an Indian. Is that got, an Indian one? Yes, it is. And it's got the red. See the red in here? That's from yeah. the soil that it comes out of. That's wow. why it's that colour. Yeah. Oh, so Isn't if, that, would it be the, the, so the properties of the soil turn it red, like the metal yeah, turns yeah. the other the man-made ones, the metal added to it and compressed that's to it right. and heated up turns it um, different colours. But that's natural. Yeah. yeah. It's natural. Because oh, the earth, right. like Australia's earth, is so red, you see. Don't yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Dorothy, I'd, I'd like to um, ask you to come back onto another like chat show with me to talk about lots of different things. Um because uh, you know so much that I'm interested in, <laughs> you know. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that I, sounds so funny the way you say that. <laughs> well, and then we see Thank things you. like... Thank you. Is it... What's the, what's the name of the rock, the red rock in Australia? Azures? Ears Azura? Rock. Ahura? Ears Rock. The what rock? Ears Rock. Uluru, yeah. Yeah, it's that one. Um, well, that's a. I, I know quite a bit about that one, and so I just wondered if you had ever been there. And because you were yes, talking about the red colour on the underneath of this crystal that you're now showing of the amethyst, yeah. I just thought of the um, that rock out there, Azure. <laughs> I can't say. Well, I live Uluru. 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 I lived in Australia for eight years. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. And yeah. I painted when I when I because you know I paint right. I'm an artist and an artist. And when I went to Australia, I had all of this palette. And although I don't really do landscapes, I didn't realise until that was the first time I realised because New Zealand's very green. 
you know, it's green and blue and green and blue. And Australia's red and orange and yellow, as in this picture here. You know, that this yeah. is Uluru, by the way. This is Uluru. Yes. This is Uluru, everybody. <laughs> this is Uluru, it's everybody. It's a, it's a celestial it's, portal. Very important. It's absolutely it's beautiful, beautiful rock. Did, did you know that there have been a lot of disappearances and weird stuff around this rock? Did you know that? Uh, there was actually a movie made from years ago, um, Three girls, I think it was three girls disappeared. This is for real at yeah. Uluru. Um, in the 50s, I think it was. Uh, it's, it's known as a major mystery anyway. It might even be, I'm pretty sure it was the 50s. And the, the movie was called Picnic at Hanging Rock. And I know that what film. happened? Yeah. Do you know that well, I film? It was, and I thought the Hanging Rock was in America. No, 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 no. And what happened is that these girls went on a school picnic. Um, this happened for real, and they disappeared, and no trace was ever found of them again. None. Yeah. And because it's, as you can see, it's isolated, they didn't walk out of there, you know? They didn't, the, the only way they could have got out of there would have had to have been a prearranged thing. But in the 50s, not everybody had cars. You know, it's not like now where a 14-year-old girl might know a number of boys with cars. Back then, yes. it would have been very unusual in that age group. And they were a girls' boarding school as well. So these girls lived at the school. So it's quite a fascinating story anyway. And as a movie... Uh, it's old now, but that, I think, adds to its charm, if you know what I mean, because there's no hype and there's no sensationalism. It's a movie, but it's sort of almost a documentary uh, as well. And, uh, yeah, so it's 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 an, a phenomenon. And, of course, we all know about Azaria, right, the baby that disappeared at the rock. Yeah. So there's, it's called uh, – I'll, I'll get a link for you, actually, because I, I, don't, I, I don't know if it's um, – I'll give it. I'll give you the Wikipedia link there, Dolores, because I don't know where you would find it. But because you know, it's oh, old. It was made. You, it was made the, in the 1975. The movie. Oh, Dolores just asked what the movie was, so I'm just giving her a link yeah. to the movie. Yeah. Uh, so that's the picnic at Hanging Rock uh, on Wikipedia, so you can have a look at it. Uh, the movie itself was made in 1975. Um, and and the other thing too is these girls came from a long way away. By the way, they didn't they weren't locals. Or, you know, there's a lot of things that suggest it would have been very hard for them to make some kind of arrangement and disappear. So anyway, yeah. there's Uluru. <laughs> there's that rock. <laughs> That's quite interesting, isn't it? Um, yes, I've sent a human to that rock before. Um, long distance healing, uh, distance healing when I was sending energy to the whole planet years ago I, I've got yep. my map of the world out I've got a book of pictures and that and I sent um, healing to uh, the major places the major chakras um, and portals on, on the right. earth to open up the um, ley lines again you know to help the earth um to help the earth, <laughs> to help, to help the, earth. the earth, you know, and the connection yeah. to the ley lines and that. It's, hard, it's difficult to explain just off the cuff, but um, yeah. yeah, but it's a very um, spiritual place as well, and it's um, known, it's on uh, major ley lines, but it's also known as a portal, you know, mm -hmm. so that's interesting that you said about the uh, um, girls going missing. Yeah, you know, you said it, baby it's, as it's well, a mystery to this day. Yeah. Uh, Azaria Chamberlain, which everybody knew about, and there was the dingo story around that, and her clothes yes. or a jacket was found, but no remains of that baby were ever found. And so that had its own mysterious quality, you know, uh, right down to people talking about them doing witches' rites. But when you get something like that, people do start ad-libbing. You know, they sort of make up the story as they go along. And the end game is that if it was parents wanting to get rid of their child or if they'd done something stupid or they didn't they didn't have to do anything there. They could have just got in their car and driven away and nobody would even know and they were camping, you know. Yeah. So it, the whole thing sort of doesn't add up in a lot of ways. I remember reading really about on that. Anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, it was huge. 
May I ask you, um, Dorothy, how do I unmute Int so that I can bring her on? You just click on. <laughs> you just you just click on her mic. That's it. She hasn't got a mic. Oh yes, no, she hasn't. Yeah. What's that? Cell phone. You see cell phone O R and it's got oh, a mic that... with a line through it. Oh right, yeah. so that's Int, is it? Yeah. So when a person calls her name. <coughs> well, when a, when a person gone. signed in. Yeah, when a person's signed in, well, that's because she's on the call. She doesn't need to, so she won't be able to see the chat now, but she'll be able to hear the show. And yeah. then um, when they're signed in, you'll see them twice, like me. You see me, and then you see my Skype call. When a person calls on a phone, you get the phone and phone. That's how I sort of knew she probably wanted a reading because she's called in specifically. Oh, right. Well, yeah. I shall do, is it okay? Are you happy yep. for me to do the reading? Um, go for it. Quarter of an hour gone. Yep. <laughs> yep. You right. go for it. Um, right, and I'm going to unmute you and say hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Oh, I've done it. <laughs> yes. Yay. This is, this is Yay. my first. Hi, Ent. This is my first show on Intuitive Talks, and um, You're I'm doing great. You know, and uh, Dorothy's been marvellous. I'm going to. I've picked you. I've done a shuffle. And I'm pitching, picking you three cards, right? And okay. Crumbs, you're luck, you're a lucky lady today. You are. Yeah, I'll tell you for why. <laughs> because I'm using the the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine, and um, they had the fairies and dragons and all that in there, and mystical things, elementals in them. But they also have. Uh, 21 out of the 78 cards are um, archangels, which is very interesting, and I think this is this is wonderful because I asked Archangel Raziel to be with us today. I asked them all to be with us today, and Archangel Raziel has come up in your cards. That was the first card I got, and that is the magician card, right? And the words are. You are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. But this is also, to me, this is, to me, this card is a really good card because it shows that you're at a point where you can create whatever you want in your life and you can help it all come about. And things that you've been doing, I've all got to this point now where you can just do things really easily, bump, 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 and and you get that done. And um, this shows Archangel Raziel has got his wings really wide outstretched, outstretched wide. <laughs> Excuse me, they're really stretched out wide, as if to say, look, I'm here, I'm here, Ince. Come here and let me wrap my wings around you and share some knowledge with you and take you on the journey of a lifetime. And I think things are going to go really well, really well for you. He's coming out of an um, orange um, sky into a area that's got all flowers around his feet. And it's like, if he's representing you, it's like you're coming out of a depression and the next step, is light and sunny and bright for you and um, things are going to be spring you're going to be streaming into action but things are going to become blooming for you as in um, things are going to be working very well for you so keep on with your projects and the things you are you're going to do um, okay. that you want to do and know that that's all coming about the other card is the Archangel Metatron card is the dreamer and this is where you can visualize visualize what you want to create it focus the positive thoughts on the things you want to create and you'll be going off on lots of adventures and there's a dog in this as well and I feel that um, the dogs represent unconditional love and family to me and I feel that the family, um, people that are good friends and family will support you in whatever you do. Your guides are watching over you. There's a lady in spirit, um, very um, regal and um, upstanding. 
she is um, looking after you and looking down on you and and helping you. Um, and she knows you can put your mind to whatever you want to do. You just need to focus on it. It's rainbow light all over this card. And it's suggesting that the angels are showering you in rainbow light. And there's a green healing unicorn as well um, with you. So I hope you'll... Um, I know you had an operation, didn't you? I hope your leg is better. I think it was your leg. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, oh, that's really good. Things are going to go really well for you then. Oh, it's yeah. It's a very positive card. The dreamer and the magician are number one, and noughts and number one in the tarot cards. But in it would be um, they're the first two cards in the, the tarot pack. So, And Archangel Metatron... He works very closely with Archangel Raziel. They always work together very closely. And Metatron's colour is orange. And um, he has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, uh, Metatron, you know. So he was Enoch in a past life. And he, he works very closely with Lord Kuthumai and Archangel Raziel to bring knowledge and wisdom to people. He's in charge of the ascension process at the moment for people mm. on a spiritual path, and uh, he'll, he'll help you. He's very also. I know why he's here, Dorothy, because of the crystals. Because yeah. he's very connected to Atlantis, you know. Um, awesome. Did you see online where um, they found Atlantis? No, I haven't group. seen that. Okay, I seen I'll have to. Much. I'll have to send you something through and through it talks about. Oh, Although I think I got it from Brenda. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Uh, but yeah. I will I'll look it up and send it to you because it's pretty interesting. They've, uh, they've even got, well, they've known about it apparently since back in the 60s. Uh, but they got caught up in the Cuban Missile uh, thing and didn't go back and uh, make pictures and stuff. And now they've got pictures. Yeah. So uh, I, I'll send it to you. Somehow, I'll oh. find a way. Well, or, or you, know, post it on. To me on you can put it on in Chewy Talks, or you can right. visit it then. You can put it on or in Chewy Talks, it on. or you can send it to me on um, uh, I can send Facebook. I can send it to thing, or I'll, I'll, I'll write uh, a blog about it. Yeah, um, I will. I've got another card as well, which goes with the okay. other two, about you um, sending your thoughts out there, being the dreamer, and focusing on what you would like, and then the magician bringing it about. And you've got the Three of Earth here, which is um, a fairy card, an earth card, a grounding card, and it's the power of creativity. And you'll get recognition for high-quality work. How nice of you to say that, because I'm not kidding. I just finished uh, working on two books and didn't get quite what I wanted no, out of it. Uh, be a team player, but this is a very good card. And yeah. um, it shows the fairies, three fairies. Fairies are helping uh, me. Chatting to a butterfly, helping a butterfly. So mm. it's like helping a butterfly to fly. So you have help around you and you've got a lot of stoic wisdom and knowledge and help from... Um, Archangel Zakiel. Yeah, well, I work with every day with the the Dowser thing that, like, you taught me to uh, uh, contact Michael and uh, Gabriel, and it turned into having Raphael and um, Uriel and a whole team of others. And and they tell me by the different ways they move the uh, Dowser that they're there. Dorothy's doing that. That leads to Dorothy's doing a, a thing on pendulums. As well tonight, aren't you doing a show on pendulums, Dorothy? Uh, no, no. Tonight is witches, britches with um, with uh, Jenny. We we've got where I do the personal oracle cards and there's runes and uh, how to make your grimoire, how to which is a personal empowerment book. It's a whole different um, show. The witches, I britches. You had a, one with pendu- pendulums. That that was that was the other the other week, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just thought, thought that'd be interesting. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. that I helped you. 
Pardon? Uh, yes, is it me. was wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful acknowledgement of uh, where I've been for the past two months. Yeah. I'm glad that helped you. And when you contact different angels, you can ask them, you know, like I said, three times to make sure that that's them. But right. if you need a particular angel or you've got one working with you, and although I say like Michael or Gabriel or whatever, you said you've got Ralph and Uriel come to you. Right. You know, so the right I angel... I have a whole little team that, that shows up and, and answers my questions. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't so told just, anybody about it until I told you here. <laughs> no, well, that's nice. But you'd be taking off, I think. You know. Oh. They're helping you with your transmutation. transmutation. I'm you sorry? Know. Well, you've got your butterfly. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, I'm I'm about to move. I'm going back to Oregon from California uh, in about an hour. So, oh, are you? Uh, You're just about to move now, then. What? You're just about to move now. Yep, uh, in about an hour. So the oh, butterflies well, will go with me. Yeah. Spread your wings and fly, then. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but staying under the speed limit. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, thank That's you nice. very much, Lance. No, I appreciate no, it. I'm not quite sure when I'll be doing the next show. We will have a card reading show on the 21st. You know, oh, I was okay. going to go. Yeah, I was going for Thursdays because I can't do Saturdays now. Um, but Rihanna can't come on until the 21st. Okay. So don't worry, everybody. Dorothy yep. Jones split me and Miana up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll look for more of Do- Dorothy's work. I enjoyed this crystal. Yeah. Oh, thank uh, you. Thank you. Now, I've I've got a link uh, for the pendulum for the pendulum show. If you did want to go and have a look at it, uh, I've just put that yep. in the chat. Um, it's recorded on Intuit Talks, and so you'll see it on video, and I'll show oh, you how to you. use them. And yeah, that's yeah, all good. And and, and and the pendulum chants. If you, if it, what you can do is you can just click the link in the chat here, and, and when you yeah. do that, then of course you can just save it or um, bookmark it. Yeah, and, and that way and you don't have oh, to. No, I'm, not, I'm on somebody else's computer, so I can't do that. Oh, okay. I'll write it down. There you go. Energy. Okay, okay, then. Just, just well, the energy therapies. If any time you go to the show is called a psychic affair, so if you just put a psychic affair there, any time okay. you go into entry talks, if you have a look there, it'll take you to my show page, and then you okay. can oh, choose the archives. You know, all of the recordings are there. But the pendulums right. I did last week, and what Lynn's might be thinking, because you were in that show, weren't you? Um, was that I, I'd said I, because on Witches Britches we do these projects. Uh, I'm going to create some charts for using a pendulum, and uh, yeah, so to make it easier to use a pendulum. No, I was just saw the show and thought, oh, that would be good, and then it was on like, ah. in the middle of the night for me. Yeah, it was in the middle of the night for you, but it's uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday nights for all you Americans that aren't in the mm-hmm. South. So that'll be 6.30 <laughs> my time, so uh, go on you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. so nice. that's every Wednesday, every every Wednesday night. Yeah. Wednesday. Okay, let me get that written down. Right. Fantastic. I'd like to thank, we've got, thank you for calling in, Ince. Um, yeah. We've got a few minutes left. Um, so uh, I was going to say uh, bye-bye. Thank you for calling in. And um, we'll share that link on the... Yes, I I'll wrote it down. I'll say I'll share some links to go with the show in, in, a, in a blog. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to just put you on mute, all right? But we're not going yet. And um, Dorothy, thank you very much. Yes. You're thank welcome. Thank you for pleasure. helping me out. <laughs> Absolute pleasure any time, as you know. Yeah. Perhaps we can work out another time that's convenient for you because you work as well, don't you? Well, I work for myself, but yes, so this morning my first job is up at 9am and I've got a hypnotherapy here in, in my space. So one 
needs one's mind a little bit alert for stuff like that. Yeah, we'll have a nice sleep then. <laughs> just, just a little bit, you know. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Millicent, for coming as well. Uh, Millicent, come in and listen. And thank you, Becca, De- Dolores, and um, Ince, and uh, Anonymous, and Anonymous, and Mary. <laughs> and I know the Anonymous and Anonymous, and I said Becca, didn't I? At the Anonymous yeah. and Anonymous is um, me and Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Talking to yourself is not a crime. <laughs> no. Um, right, I'm going to go out with the music now. Um, there we are. This is um, Rihanna's daughter. This is Rihanna's daughter, Becky, singing our album singer, the Poppy.
Have I said too much? There's nothing more I can think of to say to you. All you have to do is look at me to know that every word is true.